Sleep deprivation can kill you quicker than food deprivation. I am Vijay from Mr. Metabolics. These are eight facts of sleep deprivation. Number eight. Sleep deprivation in India is alarming. Although there is no worldwide study done on sleep deprivation, a study done in US concluded that one in three adults are sleep deprived. The situation is no different in India. According to National Sleep Foundation, an adult needs to sleep seven to nine hours every night. In another study of top five worst countries for sleep deprivation, India ranked fourth with six hours and 20 minutes of sleep every night. New Zealand tops with average sleep time of seven hours, 30 minutes. Even though Japan has the lowest sleeping time, Japanese are exceptionally healthy due to their diet and afternoon napping even in workplace. This is a graph showing minimum hours of sleep required by each age group. It is clear that young adults aged 25 and below must sleep more than 8 hours. For this reason, children and young adults are more vulnerable to the negative effects of sleep deprivation. Here's the shocking fact. India has more than 50% of its population aged below 25 and the country's average being 6 hours 20 minutes is a real problem to worry about. If you're watching this video past 10 p.m., I suggest you to hit the home button, put the phone in silent mode and go to sleep. Before you leave, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Come back in the morning and watch the rest of the video. Number 7. Sleep deprivation can make you obese. Sleep is the most underrated factor in health and fat loss. Have you heard anyone saying, I have to lose weight so I have to sleep? It sounds counterintuitive and ridiculous. What if I said sleep is as important as exercise in fat loss? A good quality sleep helps you in recovery from exercise and exercise harder the next day, eventually leading to fat loss. Good sleep helps you to exercise better and good exercise helps you to sleep better. Both goes hand in hand. At molecular level, sleep deprivation increases insulin resistance. Now what is insulin resistance? Insulin as we know pushes glucose into cells from blood. Insulin resistance is a condition where cells do not respond to insulin. So glucose remain in blood. To counter this resistance, more and more insulin is secreted by pancreas into blood. Presence of excess insulin and glucose lead to a pre-diabetic condition which after few years can cause type 2 diabetes. Also excess insulin ends up storing fat in all the wrong places such as liver and around the waist. This is exactly how you become fat. To make it worse, sleep deprivation also makes you leptin resistant. Leptin is a hormone secreted by fat cells to tell your brain to stop eating and that there is no additional space to store food. But due to sleep deprivation, brain cells do not respond to leptin and you will keep eating beyond your caloric need. Melatonin along with insulin increases leptin levels and prevents us from feeling hungry while asleep. So it's important to have a slow digesting food rich in proteins that keeps the insulin levels high in blood. Fast digesting foods digest faster and reduce the insulin levels, which in turn reduces leptin levels and makes you feel hungry in the middle of the night. Number six, sleep deprivation makes you weaker. During sleep, most of the body systems are in an anabolic state. This means that injuries are repaired, chemicals are restored to normal levels, toxins are neutralized, tissues and nerve cells are renewed. Moreover, deep sleep is for physical repair and restoration and REM sleep is for brain repair and restoration. If you are unaware of deep sleep and REM sleep, click the eye icon at the top and watch my previous video. Growth hormone is secreted during deep sleep. Athletes who are more physically stressed spend more time in deep sleep than an average person. Growing children also spend more time in deep sleep than older people. Hard physical exercise causes an increase in deep sleep. This theory seems to be universal across the animal kingdom. Then what happens in REM sleep? That's number 5. Sleep deprivation makes your brain dirty. Brain cleans itself of toxins during REM sleep. Brain cells shrink during sleep. 
This increases the flow of cerebrospinal fluid in the brain and washes off any harmful waste proteins that have accumulated between brain cells while awake. This could explain the relation between sleep deprivation and brain diseases like Alzheimer's. One of the waste products removed from brain during sleep is beta amyloid. The accumulation of this waste protein is linked with Alzheimer's. Beta amyloid keeps increasing in your brain while you are awake. This also explains why we are unable to think clearly after a sleepless night. So why doesn't the brain do this cleaning all the time? Well, such cleaning takes a lot of energy, so it's not possible to both clean and be aware of surroundings, talk and move at the same time. It's like inviting guests for party at your house. Either you party with them or you clean the house. You cannot do both at the same time. This video is about ill effects of sleep deprivation. But what if you overslept like more than 9 hours per night? Stay curious, I'll answer that towards the end. Number 4. Artificial lights can cause sleep deprivation. Thanks to Thomas Edison and his invention of light bulbs, sunset no longer meant the end of your social life. And now we have a new term called light pollution. Edison thought that Sleep was bad for you and was a sign of laziness. He also believed such lazy people, if exposed to his artificial light, will improve their efficiency. Sorry Mr. Edison, but you also screwed our natural sleep patterns and health in general. Exposure to artificial light during nighttime suppresses melatonin secretion because brain interprets this as sunlight and activates the melatonin suppression mechanism. Artificial lights also increase the time required to fall asleep after hitting the bed, increases alertness, has negative effects on psychological, cardiovascular and metabolic functions. All the sleep benefits discussed earlier are also disrupted. Brightness of light is measured in lux. The average nighttime brightness is 5 lux and helped our hunter-gatherer ancestors to fall asleep approximately 3 hours after sunset. Melatonin secretion stops completely around 180 lux. The average home and office lightings exceed 200 lux. Sadly, some hospital wards with patients are uncomfortably more lit, which can affect the patient's recovery. Moreover, blue light is more powerful in stopping melatonin production than any other colored lights. The displays of all smartphones and tablets today are mainly composed of blue light. Number 3. Sleep deprivation is hazardous. Sleep deprivation is on the rise in industrialized world. Sleep deprivation leads to increased daytime sleepiness and inability to focus in workplace. In fact, major industrial disasters such as Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, Bhopal gas tragedy, to name a few, have been officially attributed to errors in judgment caused at least partially by sleepiness at workplace. Sleep deprivation is also a common problem in road accidents and a reduced sense of well-being. Number 2. Melatonin concentrations steadily decline as we age. The concentration of melatonin in plasma is maximum between 2 to 5 years of age. Its concentration steadily declines after puberty. After 60 years of age, melatonin concentration falls below 10 picogram per ml. Although low melatonin levels is a factor in sleep problems in older people, it is not the only one. Some medications and depression also plays a major role. Now what about oversleeping? Again it comes to the old saying, quality is better than quantity. The more is better theory doesn't apply here. Few things our ancestors did 10,000 years ago was going to bed, sorry, going to sleep. They didn't have a bed like us. We have a comfortable and luxurious bed with all the sleep problems. They fell asleep around 3 hours after sunset, no light other than moonlight, no disturbing sounds, only natural ambient sound. They usually ate a big meal by evening, mostly complex carbs and protein, helping them with sufficient insulin and leptin levels. Woke up by sunrise. And more importantly, no sleep depriving thoughts, financial problems, law breaking activities, relationship problems, breakups, no over exciting thoughts like an upcoming world cup match or sexual fantasies. They just had to hunt, eat, sleep etc. They did have thoughts but nothing compared to the skyrocketing amount of thoughts that we have. Now why am I boring you with these ancestral facts? However modern and technologically advanced we become, the basics of our ancestors 
should also be the basics of our living. You cannot deviate much from those ancestral basics. We haven't genetically changed much due to few hundred years of modernization. We are almost genetically identical to our ancestors who lived 10,000 years ago. They were neither sleep deprived nor did they oversleep. Oversleeping causes most of the similar problems of sleep deprivation like obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart diseases, depression, etc. So find your sleep sweet spot for optimal health and stick with it. Be consistent. It must be between 7 to 9 hours. After discussing all this, the number one point will seem obvious, but it's worth pointing out. Number one, a good quality sleep can keep the doctor away. Even better than Apple, the number of sleep benefits goes through the roof compared to the benefits of Apple. A lack of sleep can probably take you to a doctor. Along with major problems discussed earlier like type 2 diabetes, obesity, low growth hormone secretion, insulin resistance, some other sleep deprivation problems include irritability, headaches, low academic performance, migraines, poor vision, hallucinations, heart diseases, high blood pressure, slow reaction time, weight gain, poor decision making, weak immunity, overproduction of nocturnal urine, distractedness, low antibody production, speech impairment, colds, gastrointestinal problems, low sex drive, low pain threshold, cancer, memory problems, unhappiness and depression, crave junk food, damages skin collagen making you look older, exhaustion, disruption in gene activity, especially genes tied to circadian rhythm, automobile accidents, risking safety at work, etc. All because of deprivation in this single most underestimated easily manageable natural phenomenon called sleep. Good night and sweet dreams.